Hi everybody, it's Miss Melinda, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com. And today I've been talking a lot in my videos about psychic abilities, um, intuition, and things of that nature. So I wanted to take a moment to share with you some of my favorite books for helping you understand and develop your psychic abilities, psychic gifts, and helping you understand how to work with spirit guides and develop your relationships with spirit guides. So I'm going to go over three books, and my favorite thing about all of these books is that they offer you um, a lot of really in-depth, step-by-step uh, -step practices or exercises um, like meditations and energy work and such to do on your own time that will help you develop your gifts and strengthen your gifts. And the one piece of advice I would give about that is that you can actually um, record these so that you can listen to them um, because it's really hard to read the exercises out of a book and then remember them and go through them without referring to your book. So I recommend a more um, seamless experience by recording the exercises for yourself and then listening to them on your device. Um, the other thing that I love about all three of these books is that they do a lot of um, distinguishing between what it means to have a high level of spiritual guidance versus a low level of spiritual guidance. Um, in other words, you can be in contact with or receive guidance from a an advanced spirit, a spirit with more um, experience than another spirit. So you, you do want to keep that in mind if you are going to be delving into spiritual guidance um, or channeling spirits. Um, anything like that. Uh, you don't necessarily want to be talking to just any spirit. Um, spirits are just like people and they can give you misinformation or they can screw with you or they can manipulate you or yeah, things of that nature. So you do want to um, get a little bit of experience in that way and try to get yourself some high level spiritual guidance from trust, trustworthy, experienced spirits. And these books are really great for helping you um, distinguish that and helping you learn more about that and helping you do that. So the first book I want to show you is Working with Spirit Guides by Ruth White. Okay, and there are a few things that I really love about this book. It's a personal book. It comes from a really personal perspective, which is nice. Um, Ruth White talks about her experience growing up um, and always having a spirit guide with her and even not knowing in the beginning that this was abnormal. Um, so it talks about her stages throughout life, her relationship with her spirit guide throughout her life and how that developed and how she learned to consciously work with it um, and that sort of thing. Uh, she also gives some really good advice and really good information about developing your, your chakras and how um, that sort of energy work can help you with your spiritual attunement, help you with your spiritual guidance and your psychic gifts. And I find that to be really helpful and really important. Um, also, something that's really cool is that a lot of her exercises and advice comes from a kind of um, shamanistic perspective. And she doesn't actually come right out and say that, but I, I made that connection from a lot of the research that I've done into shamanism. So I find that really interesting. Um, and I find it really helpful, and I find it um, to be a wise place to come from. So that's important. Um, and then she also does talk a little bit about um, doing readings for others through channeling your own spirit guide, which I find to be really interesting. So there's a lot of great advice in here, a lot of tips and tricks for um, developing your spiritual guidance. And I will say with these books, as with anything in life, these are not meant to be Bibles. These are not meant to be something that... Um, tells you how you must absolutely do this or what is the right and the wrong way. Um, all knowledge should be used in a personal way. So you take what you want from this and you leave what you don't want behind and in that way you piece together your own personal philosophies and the own, your own techniques that work 
for you as an individual. Okay, so here's my second one. It's opening to channel. Okay, and this is a really cool book because it, it's a really unique perspective. It's written by a couple and it's also written by through channeling that they do with their spirit guides. So they actually channel guidance into the book, um, which is really interesting. And they, it, they tell a little bit of a story about how they learned to be channels together. And then it, they go through a journey of also teaching other people how to be channels and kind of this, this becoming their life's work. Um, they have some really practical steps and really practical exercises for how you can learn to channel. And the thing that they are most adamant about is that it's um, it's kind of a quick and easy guide. Like they, they claim that anybody can learn to be a channel and that it's something that we all have kind of a um, almost a right or a, an ability to do and that by following these very simple steps we can easily learn how to do that and start implementing it into our own lives. Um, they also talk a lot about uh, low level spiritual guidance versus high level spiritual guidance and they go really in depth about what the difference is, um, what that means, um, why it's important, etc. Yeah, so that's a cool book. And then my last book is this guy, You Are Psychic. Um, Okay, and what makes this a really unique book is that it is written by a gentleman named P.A. Sanders Jr. and he studied biomedical chemistry and brain science at MIT. And a lot of the, the information in this book is based on research that he did at MIT using neuroscience. So that is definitely a unique perspective. Um, my favorite thing about this book, and I think this is my favorite book right now for this topic, but my favorite thing about this book is that, <clears throat> excuse me, it goes through the different ways the, that you can have psychic gifts pertaining to the, your different senses. I, I mentioned some of this earlier, like clairaudience versus um, clairsentience versus clairvoyance, etc. So he talks about all of the different ways that you can have psychic gifts and how they work differently for each individual. And then he gives ways um, to recognize those gifts, ways to work with those gifts, and ways to develop those gifts specifically by each category. So I find it very, very useful, very practical, very informative. And I hope that you like my book recommendations. I would like to thank you for watching today. Um, please comment below. Please follow my YouTube channel. Um, let me know if you have any questions about anything that I have mentioned or if there are any topics that you would like me elaborate on. I'm always happy to make a future video based on your suggestions or your questions. So feel free to contact me at any of the links that I have listed below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.